Asparagus is harvested mainly by hand, as you can see here. The fields are harvested several times depending on the price and the quality of the spears. This field is probably being harvested for the last time. Asparagus is grown as a perennial crop and will be harvested for a number of years before being replaced. After the last harvest, the remaining spears are left to develop into fern. The photosynthates manufactured by the fern supply the necessary carbohydrates to the crown. These stored carbohydrates provide energy for the initiation of the following season's spears. This is a relatively small asparagus packing operation. Larger operations tend to be more mechanized. All operations here take place in a small open shed. Spears are brought from the field in bins and unloaded by hand onto conveyor belts. Once on the belt, they are spread into a uniform layer with the tips butted against a retaining ledge. The spears enter a hydro cooler where they are washed and the ends are trimmed. From here, they are graded according to size. Spears are packed into boxes, specially tapered to accommodate their shape. The crates are actually built around the asparagus. This prevents loose packaging, which would cause bruising, and accommodates the delicate nature of the spear. Note the metal spacer plate approximately three inches below the top of the crate. As you recall from this mini course, harvested plants will still continue to grow to a certain extent. This is particularly evident with asparagus. Once this plate is removed, the space left will accommodate post-harvest growth. Once the tips are secured, the asparagus moves to the next station, where the side slats are press-fitted onto the box and nailed in place. Note how much hand labor has been involved in this operation so far. The box then moves through the final trimming saw. The bottom of the crate is ready to be sealed. First a piece of blotter paper is applied to the fresh cut ends of the spears. Why is this step necessary? Wood slats then secure the blotter in place.
Once the carton is complete, the metal spacer plate is removed and the carton is transferred to the loading area. This is a good opportunity to observe the space left at the top of each carton to accommodate post-harvest spear growth. Asparagus spears, which have been hand cut in the field, enter the packing plant in these wooden bins. Here they begin their movement through the plant where they will be washed, trimmed, packed in boxes, and cooled. A cutoff saw in this machine assures that all stalks are uniform in length. The trim spears are hand packed in cardboard boxes. Some of the product in this plant is packed in wooden boxes, similar to those used in the small packing operation we just saw. The packed boxes are moved through a hydro cooler and pass along a roller conveyor into the cold storage area to await shipping. Space is again left at the top of the box so that the spears will have room to grow while they are in transit.